how to tie and overread step by step for beginners. Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome one more day to the YouTube channel Music Bayside O. I'm Nuria Cabezas and today I've prepared a video explaining how to tie an overread for beginners step by step. Find more videos, tutorials, online lessons and the blog on the website musicbayside.com. Let's start! The material we are going to need to tie an overread will be gouged and shaped over cane A staple, some wire, a mud reel, a knife. A pair of scissors, a ruler, some thread, a glass of water. Pliers. Step 1. Put the cane for a few minutes in a glass of water. Step 2. Next we will scrape the ends of the cane so the threads will adapt perfectly with the staple. If you don't master the use of the knife, you can rest the cane on an easel. Step 3. We make a wire ring with the help of a mandrel.
Step 4. Let's introduce the wire ring on the bent reed with the help of the mandrill. In this step, we are helping the wood to adapt the shape it will have later on the staple. There are different methods to do this step, with plastic instead of wire, with heat, etc. All are equally valid if the final result is optimal. Step 5. Afterwards, we will put the cane folded with the wire on the staple. Step 6. It's really important to verify that the cane is straight and that the measure of the staple corresponds with the wire on the cane. The position of the wire should be the same than the upper end of the staple. Step 7. Initial binding knot. We tie the thread to some fixed element that we have. For example, the leg of a table or a chair 
the handle of a door, etc. Anything that you have on hand that is stable and has enough weight to not move during the binding. The knot I do during this step is a slip knot. Afterwards, we are going to see how to do it. Step 8. To tie the oval reed, threads of different thickness can be used. I invite you to investigate which one works best for you. The thinner the thread will be more complicated the process of tying the oval reed. Point 1. We take the mandrel with the cane with the left hand and the thread with the right hand if we are right-handed. The cane must be placed perpendicular to the wire forming a 90 degree angle with the thread. Point two, the thread is located below the reed and a few millimeters to the left of the wire ring. Point three, we start the tying turning to the right until we reach the wire ring. Point four, at this point, we give the thread a cross over the top to continue to the bottom of the staple. Be careful not to overlap a few laps with others. They should be together and without gaps. Point 5. When we arrive with the thread to the bottom of the staple, we will make the final knot of the tide. Step 9. Final tight knot. There are several ways to make the final knot of an overweight. 
Next, I'll explain it how I do it with my own grids. A few millimeters from the cork of the staple, we hold the coil with the mouth. Cut the end of threads that we have attached to the support and make a loop with this end. Next, we cut the end of the thread that comes from the coil and give 3-4 more turns towards the cork, covering both ends of the loop with these turns and leaving enough space to then be able to introduce the other end of the thread through it. Point 3. We could hear at this point a click sound, which means that the final note is placed between 3-4 turns before the end of the binding. At this point, the knot is short so that we can already cut the end of the remaining thread. Step 10. Check the length, tight, position of the cane and possible loss of air. To ensure it a little bit more, I recommend fixing it with a little bit of transparent nail polish. This step is optional and never should be the solution for an incorrect tight. Next, my recommendation is not to scrape the root immediately after tying it. It's better to let the wood to adapt to its new shape for a few days. The fibers of the cane have undergone a very sudden change. They need a time of adaption before starting with the scraping. How did it work for you? Share the photos and videos of the process on the social media with the hashtag MusicBaysideO and let me know here in the comments below 
uh, if you want to see more videos about obo and English horn reads. Find more information about the Music Bayside Obo project on the website musicbayside.com and on the social networks like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get all the notifications with the new videos. There will be a new video every week. I see you very soon in the next video. Welcome to the Music Bayside community. On the website of Music Bayside, musicbayside.com, you will find information on how to get online lessons and personalized attention and a free subscription to the newsletter. Through the email mail at musicbayside.com, you can get in touch. Share the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel Music Bayside, where you will find new videos every week. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to be tuned. Have you heard about the Patreon platform? If you like the content I'm creating in Music Bayside and you want to support the project with a monthly donation started at $1, you can visit my Patreon page, patreonpage.com slash musicbaysideobo, where you will find all the information about it. Thanks for being there and I see you very soon in the next video.